Welcome back to the Happy Camper. We're coming to you again from our sponsor's dealership, Rocky Mountain RV in beautiful Butte, Montana. Today we're going to take a look at the Coachman Freedom Express 248 RBS. It's a 2020 model. And it's a very interesting and unique offering from Coachman. Right up here on the front, again, Coachman really has made this a very nice look with this front windshield. It's an automotive style. It gives the front of the trailer a great, great look. Uh, it And of course adds a bunch of uh, a light and, and visibility from inside the coach as well. So really a nice feature. That is set back into a fiberglass molded front cap and then we do have the lower diamond shield uh, rock guard on there as well. Uh, right up on the front here, two 20 pound LP tanks. And right behind those will house the uh, the batteries again new unit here at Rocky Mountain so they haven't added the battery cases into this unit yet they do that at the PDI time um, again this unit would be equipped with dual batteries and has room to do that from our our sponsors dealership if you're if you're shopping somewhere else you need to check and see how exactly they equip their units but here at Rocky Mountain they do a uh, dual battery system on their bigger models like this so you can get out in the backwoods and enjoy Montana's backcountry without running out of battery power right up on the tongue there you'll see that little red key and that is a battery disconnect switch and that will simply turn the batteries off so we don't have a parasite draw from our our, our stereo face and our LP gas detector so when you're in storage you can turn those off and you don't come back to dead batteries it's a really nice feature comes factory standard from Coachman on the front corner of the unit here you can see the uh, front full pass-through storage and it's a nice big storage bin that goes all the way across the front of the unit there's a door on both sides it gives you lots of access to it here you can see these little straps hanging down from the top and that is to uh, house a, a standard picnic table that comes with the unit it has a little bracket that hangs that picnic table up in there keeps it out of the way and it comes with the unit from coachman which is kind of a unique feature i don't know of any other company that actually includes this uh, this roto molded little table at the back and i'll show you that when we get back to the uh, outside kitchen on this unit this trailer does come standard with the four stabilizer jacks that are cranked down. Again, I recommend a, an electric drill, it's just your cordless drill, and they make a little adapter for that to run those down. It's a three-quarter or 19 millimeter socket. We'll, op we'll, uh, we'll operate those if you uh, want to make that on your own, you can. They do offer it through the RV dealerships. It's a little uh, $5 piece from a company like uh, Olympian, or there's a couple others. I think uh, Ultrafab makes one as well. So that's an easy thing to get. Uh, th this unit is uh, featured with a standard hand hand wind tongue jack. I'm a big fan of power tongue jacks, but it's a simple thing to add if you wish to. It's simply uh, the three bolts there at the base of the jack, and then you hook up the wire into the battery system. It's really easy to install. You can purchase that from your dealer. You can work it into the deal when you buy a new one, whatever you want to do, but uh, I think it's a good feature and uh, easy to install, so it's not a deal breaker if it's not factory equipped. Right here's the Furion uh, portable solar panel hookup. It's just a two little wire hookup here. And wow, was that baby stiff. Um, but uh, I will uh, I will show that. I have shown it in other features, but again, it's just a little plug in there. And that, that's hooked into the battery system. The the solar panel that you would plug into it has its own regulator built in and the whole, the whole thing there. So uh, GoPower is the one that I've used, but again, Furion makes one and this is their connector. If you buy the GoPower, if you prefer that brand, it will come with the uh, Furion plug so you can, you can utilize that plug-in system. This unit does have, of course, the power awning that runs a good portion of the trailer. I would say at least three quarters of the side of the trailer is covered by awning. Up underneath we have the full length LED light strip and you can see they do also put a porch light on this model as well. Uh, a lot of companies don't go to the, the trouble of adding the second porch light with the LED strip, but the problem is when the awning is in, the LED is pretty well covered, so it doesn't add a lot of light. So it is nice to have that little porch light if you're in a spot where you can't run your awning out. At the main entry door here, you will see the large assist grab handle as well as the LCI solid step. That's a nice couple of features on this unit. They do also put this little, this little hook here that is a combination leash holder and bottle opener. So that's kind of an interesting feature from, from Coachman. And of course, it's done with their, their um, classic Dalmatian paw and the little bone there. So it gives it a little bit of a, a dog flair for us dog lovers. And of course, you know that uh, we're very dog friendly at the Happy Camper. 
Right here at the axle set, you can see they're running an aluminum alloy wheel. We do have radial rubber mounted on that, and this is a spread axle design. You can see the, the axles are spread apart in this unit. It adds stability to this unit, as well as carrying a little extra weight on the, tra on the trailer chassis instead of on the tow vehicle. So that's a nice feature. Again, that comes standard with the Coachman Freedom Express in their Tandem Axle Series. And this is in the ultralight editions. They have several versions of the Freedom Express. Uh, this one, this particular model, is in the ultralight series. Back here at the outside kitchen, you can see that we do have our little table here that comes with the unit. And it's a nice little rotomold table. Uh, it's right underneath the rain gutter, so of course we have some water dripping on it today. Uh, and then, of course, the outside kitchen itself. This one does feature a sink, hot, cold sink outside, and that does drain back into the main uh, holding tank system, so you don't have to throw the little, the little bucket out with the sink water and that type of thing. This is connected completely into the, uh, into the main plumbing system. We do have a little storage drawer here. This is nice for exterior. If you're going to cook outside, it's really nice to have your extra spatulas, some, some plastic silverware, that kind of thing out here. Makes a nice feature just to have that storage drawer. This is one of the things that I really found interesting on these models and things that Coachman's doing that just not a lot of other companies take the time or the effort to do, quite honestly. This little pull-out rack here houses a Coleman gas grill. And it's just a nice little feature. It stores in there. It's out of the way. It's got a little grill top on it here. And, of course, it's Coleman brand. Everybody knows Coleman brand. So it's a really nice little feature. Again, it's on a full extension um, drawer slide there so it'll come out away from the trailer it gives you a table to have it on while you're cooking on it i think it's a great great feature from coachman good work on that up above of course is the famous outdoor refrigerator which is electric only and that little refrigerator of course I've said this before and I'll say it again, you can take that out, you can use it in your house. If you're camping in this area where you just don't have power very often, um, it's, you know, it's just a small little apartment sized refrigerator, but it is 110 electric only. So again, if, if you're in one of those spots, you can't use it, you can pull it out, you can have extra countertop space there, it just has a little bracket that holds it down and, and it's still usable space back here. Overhead, we have a little cabinet up here for storage. There is an ex exterior LED light both here as well as up here so very good lighting in this guy and then we do have this little spice rack that they built in here they, they etched the coachman freedom express name into it which is kind of neat as well all right let's move around the back of the coach the back is a pretty standard affair nothing back here to get too excited about other than i will mention it is prepped for the Furion rear backup camera and that is a nice system you can pop that little camera in it has a wireless screen that goes up in the truck and um, and that will give you uh, the ability to see behind you when you're backing in. It also has audio on it, so you can hear. If somebody's trying to back you in, if you have inexperienced people backing you in, they're going to stand right behind the trailer where you can't see them. With the Fury on screen, you can, uh, you can hear what they're saying. Of course, when you're traveling down the road, you turn the volume down so you're not getting the road noise. But it is a nice feature. And again, this unit is just prepped for it. It doesn't have the camera, but it makes it extremely easy to install. And that's a really nice little piece you can get from any of your dealers. Over here on this side, of course, we have the uh, outside shower. That's a hot, cold um, setup there. And, and again, works really good if we're hosing a cooler out or the dog gets in the mud or just, you know, need to, need to hose off our fishing boots, whatever. It's really nice to have that exterior shower. Down below, we have all of our hookups as far as our... Uh, campground type of stuff and filling our water tanks and flushing water tanks and all that stuff is right here we do have the uh, marine grade detachable power cord there as well this is a 30 amp service unit so it does uh, just require the 30 amp service because we're running a single ac as we come back up around this side this is the off door pass through storage door the fresh water tank fills right there at the front of the trailer and again a really attractive look on this unit from coachman i think they did a nice job i've said this a lot and and i'm still standing by the statement i really like a white exterior on a unit i think it stays cooler in the summertime i think it does not fade in the sun near like the colored units do and i think it's just more of a classic look i think it'll be a, a better look for longer so i like what coachman's done on the outside the inside again does not leave a whole lot to be desired as well this, again, is a very interesting little unit. 
Uh, the outside kitchen on it makes it unique. It's a rear bathroom setup. It's more of a couple's coach than it is really a family camper. But we do have enough sleeping in here that you can do grandkids or, you know, again, if you got teenage kids that just go with you occasionally, this is a little unit that'll work for you. You can get down to this 24 foot platform. You still got lots of room in here with this big slide out. It makes the, the main floor nice and open. So I really like the setup. I, I like where, where Coachman's head was at with this with this floor plan and this design. I think it's going to do pretty well. The one feature that, that I'll notice here right away is the sofa is mounted right here against the bedroom wall towards the front of the coach. And then across from it is our TV DVD system. And this one does have the TV mounted. It is factory installed and it's got the Furion uh, DVD player as well and that'll give you AM, FM and CD and audio in and SD cards and all kinds of all kinds of things you can do out there while you got time to to play with those things if it's raining or whatever but the nice feature there is again your seating area is directly across from your TV in this unit so you don't have to deal with turning your head and in a small RV like this that's kind of a hard feature to find what I do also like about this unit is the sofa here has a flip down cup holder and armrest. They went to the trouble to put storage drawer doors, excuse me, underneath the sofa. So you do have storage access there without having to, to monkey the sofa halfway up and try to reach your arm through. Nice big storage down here. They also did storage here underneath the dinette and they did a lighted toe kick here. So you've got a little bit of light if you're working down here at night. And the other thing I just noticed is they put these little sliders down here for storage underneath the back portion of the u dinette as well so pretty interesting uh, again the uh, as we work down this off door wall the u dinette sets in the slide out and this is a full uh, full depth slide out this is going to be an electric rack and pinion it's a really proven system been on the market for a very long time and uh, found it to be pretty bulletproof I, I think it's a good system i i really again my experience says we haven't had very many troubles with it you know and and people will probably comment that oh we've had this or that and, and you got to understand, it's still, it's still a mechanical piece. It will wear out eventually. If you misuse it, you can break it. It's one of those things that they do, you know, they're, they're prone to, uh, to, you know, factory defects, unfortunately. Anytime you have moving parts, you can have something go wrong. So the, the moral of the story is, you know, 20 years experience. This, this slide system has been on the market at least that long. Um, very minimal issues with it. We don't see anything really recurring. If it is, you know, something wrong with it, it's usually an adjustment or we have a motor that's given us a problem. And, and again, it's, it's been a good system. Uh, you can see, of course, that this dinette table has a pretty interesting base on it. We were playing with this earlier. It's really, once you figure it out, it's very intuitive to fold this down into the, uh, into the base blocks there that you can see. And it does lay out into a nice big long bed. It's a seven foot long bed. Uh, I would say it's about 40 inches wide, roughly, maybe a little bit more, 42 right in there. So you can sleep, uh, you know, again, a teenage kid, something like that on there. A couple grandkids if you need to, it will work pretty well for that. The, uh, I'm not going to fold it down in this. I know that when they pictured this unit, they did fold it all down. So I'll, I'll link to this trailer's um, details page on Rocky Mountain site so you can see that pictured laid down if you want to. Unfortunately, when I'm filming with one hand, I just I can't manhandle that table with one hand and film it. So we'll, we'll leave that to the pictures, but understand it does fold down. It's really a, a, a nice bed when it does lay out flat there. We do have also ventilation windows on all sides of the slide out walls here. And that's again, something you'll see in the cheaper models. They, they start to delete some of those things, but that's, it's nice to see that they do it in this, uh, in this little more upscale model. Um, we're back there to the TV and DVD center at the back of the coach. Uh, we do have storage down at the bottom of it there. And it's, you know, again, it's just a standard TV, nothing nothing to uh, to write home about. But it is nice to have the, the, the setup in there if you are someplace you can get TV or we're talking grandkids. Uh, if you uh, if you end up with grandkids and it's a rainy day, it's nice to be able to flip a DVD in, let them chill out, um, you know, get a little rest. Everybody gets a little tired when we're out in the in the great outdoors, breathing that fresh air. So it is. Uh, it's one of those things you can you can let your kids or grandkids or whatever just kind of relax a little bit, watch a movie either before bedtime or if you have a foul weather day. This is the bathroom access door here at the back of the coach. Again, like I said, this is a rear bathroom floor plan. That's what the RBS stands for in the model number. It's a uh, it's a rear bathroom slide out is the three letters. We have a neo-angle corner glass shower. Really nice 
set up. We do have, of course, our vanity and bathroom sink. And that does have storage in the medicine cabinet. Rear ventilation window adds some natural light. We do also have, I'm gonna pan back up here, we do also have some uh, an overhead skylight in this model, so you get a lot of natural light in this bathroom, and it has a vent with a power fan in it. So we get a lot of ventilation, we get a lot of we get a lot of light. Back beyond the toilet there, we have some, some towel hooks and a little, uh, just a little storage shelf. Small things that Coachman does. I, I've mentioned this before in my other videos on Coachman. I just, I like the things that they do. They're a very, very, classic company they've been around for a long time they pay attention to small details and i like those things uh this is a porcelain toilet in this one i believe this is the thetford i don't see the name on it but it looks like the thetford model over here against the um the door side wall in the bathroom we have overhead storage cabinets and these are nice big cabinets and the cool thing about that is they put the hanging closet in there so i like the idea of in a, in a camp trailer like this, you're generally going to get dressed in the bathroom. You know, if you get out of the shower, you don't want to traipse all the way back through the trailer, especially if you have company, so you, you have enough... Uh, I just hit the light switch with my elbow there. But you do have enough room in the bathroom here with this rear bath setup. It's very spacious. And then we ha do have um, storage in there for our clothes. So it's a pretty interesting setup. I do like the way it's it's designed, especially when you keep in mind that it is kind of a couple's coach with occasional company optional. So uh, pretty pretty cool setup. We go up the door side wall here, and of course we can see the Dometic refrigerator this does look like the upgraded model i'm gonna see if i can get a model number off of it quickly here they're kind of a pull to open this one does it give it to me easily you know and i don't see it there it's a uh, 2872 rbx is the model number i didn't see a cubic footage I, by eye, I'm going to say that's an 8 cubic foot, which is an upgrade from your standard 6 cubic foot double door. And uh, it's a nice look in here. They do a little stainless steel look front panel on it. Uh, they do a little pantry here beside the fridge. So we have plenty of room for, for food storage and that sort of thing. So just a shelf double door pantry. So that gives us a really nice um, storage area here in our in our kitchen area. Overhead, we have our Furion stainless steel microwave and range hood as well as our Furion uh, range, of course, three burner gas top and range. So this is gonna be, of course, has the window in the front that I really like, has the lighted knobs on it. It does have the flip up glass top here. And that's gonna, of course, finish off the countertop, gives you a little extra countertop space. This unit, if I have a gripe about it, is simply that it is a little short on countertop space. And again, that's a product of it being a short model. Uh, but by adding both the sink covers here that are flush and match the countertop as well as the flip down glass top on the stove that again comes flush to the countertop so we don't have big humps and bumps here this gives us enough counter space to make this a workable kitchen I'll open this blind because i really liked this long elongated port window here that is in over the kitchen gives you some nice little natural light into your kitchen this, there is also a light here that we didn't turn on, but that's a nice little uh, little strip light, LED strip light. Up underneath here we have some light switches, that sort of thing, uh, and of course some power outlets. So the sink in this guy is your stainless steel. It does have the large strainer baskets in it. We run kind of a, a mid-size, mid-height faucet. I wouldn't call it exactly a high-rise, but not too bad. Should work just fine. It does have the big strainers in it, and they're equal bowls on the sink. <clears throat> the entry door here <clears throat> is, of course, how we signify the door side wall. We do have Dometic air conditioning up top. This is the control for both the air conditioning and the furnace. It runs right through this one little one-touch control there. Works extremely well. Your front bedroom, <coughs> excuse me, in this model does have a full-size queen bed as well as storage on both sides and overhead coming all the way back. And over here, we have uh, power built in. Looks like uh, USB charging as well as 110 power in the, uh, right here next to the bed, next to the, the nightstand or night shelf, whichever you would call it. And that is 
true to both sides. So that's really nice to have charging on both sides. We have a small directional reading light up here underneath the cabinets. So that's going to give you some light and uh, selectable one side or the other. If you are laying in bed reading, you don't drive your partner nuts, hopefully. Up here on the front, again, that's that automotive style windshield. Adds a ton of dimension and natural light into this bedroom. I think it's a really, really nice feature. Um, and it's got pretty good view out there today, honestly. It's a nice bluebird day. Kind of a cold day here in Montana, but uh, nonetheless, it's sunny, so we'll take it. We do have ventilation windows on both sides and a pocket door, hard pocket door that slides over and closes the bedroom off for privacy. So once again, this is the 248 RBS from Coachman Freedom Express. This and a lot of other units are on our sponsor's website at rockymtnrv.com. I will link to this particular unit and you can take a look at it if you'd like. If you're in the market for an RV, which I assume that you are, because you're watching RV reviews, please consider our sponsors when you're looking at your units. We'd really appreciate you uh, helping out the people that help us. We do use their inventory to review all of our all of our units that we use in our reviews come out of their inventory is what I'm trying to say. And uh, it's just really nice to be able to come out here, cherry pick their inventory when it's cold and we can't get to our location um, up in the mountains, cold and snowy. They let us come in here and, and film right at the dealership here. So once again, the Happy Camper coming to you from the beautiful mountains of southwest Montana. We appreciate you spending the time to take a look at our videos. If you appreciate our content, please like, share, and subscribe. And we will see you on the next video.